progress on this lathe project has slowed down a bit. Um, I didn't get it done before sugaring season, so now I'm really busy doing that. So I'm still making progress, but it's not as fast as what I would like. So here's just a short video of me installing one of the bearings. So I'm going to try to fit a shim in here. Got the bore cleaned up nicely and I've been running a space heater in here so it's a little bit warm but after I get that in we're going to heat it up a little bit more with a torch and try to get this even bigger. So I've got my shim stock here that's going to go in and around. I'm going to try to stick it in place with Loctite and then put a little bit on the outside and slide the, the bearing in. And there's a decent chance this will just crinkle up and become a mess. So my plan B is I'm going to do three strips around because three points will define the circle so it should get nicely centered in the bore. Because um, I could just do the Loctite, but the chances that it's perfectly centered in here with the Loctite seem like they're kind of slim. So first is complete circle and then if that doesn't work then I get my three strips. I have to conserve the shim stock. <laughs> I know, I got, I got spare that, that's for sure. So it took two tries, but we've got the shim stuck in with Loctite. So hopefully, um, actually you can not do that for just a second. Got some Loctite on the, some squeeze out that I need to clean up. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, so we've got, took two tries, but we've got the shim stock installed. We're gonna heat this up a little bit more and try to slide in the bearing. Well, <laughs> no huge surprise, that was a failure. I didn't really think that was gonna work, but I was hopeful. I think there was just too big of a layer of Loctite and it set up too much. I thought that perhaps the Loctite wouldn't actually set up. It would be still liquid, but I think with the heat and being such a thin layer, it sets up um, very quickly. It says an hour working time, but I believe that's an hour working time like before you put the two sleeves together. Yeah. Yeah, because those flakes, those are pretty thick flakes and they're pretty hard, so yeah. Don't touch that metal. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not that's good and toasty. Alright. Is it? 300. Come on, piece of shit. Oh look at that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Quick and positive. But it's already locked up in there. No. Well, my install oh, tool oh. comes out. <laughs> I saw that moving out. I thought it's the bearing. <laughs> no, I don't know how much Loctite stayed on the, on the bearing. On the bearing. I think it's, a lot of it smeared off. But the the little bit I got in the bore probably stayed. We'll see. I can see once it cools down how. Loose, it seems. Yeah, you can put your your um, driving thing on and just tap it and see how it moves. 
Yeah, because I don't really care. It, it doesn't have to be really solid. All it has to do is not spin in the bore. Right, but it's got to be fairly snug for that not to happen. Yeah. We can put that in there and just tap it and see if it moves. If it moves really easy with a slight tap of the hammer, then it's not tight enough. Yeah. And if it's so after the bearing was installed, I tapped on it a little bit with a punch to see if I could get it to come back out. I didn't try really hard, but it didn't move, so I'm happy with how secure it is. The next step in this process is going to be to install a speedy sleeve and a new seal for the feed shaft that goes out to the the speeds and feeds, the, the threading and, and feed for the lathe. So I'm going to work on that. Subscribe, follow along, and see that. That'll be the next video.